Since Pink Floyd's official disbandment, the band's extensive repertoire continues to offer avenues for individual members to showcase their talents, drawing nostalgic fans back to cherished moments. However, amidst this vast musical landscape, there remains one elusive track that David Gilmour hesitates to resurrect on stage. Echoes, the timeless Pink Floyd masterpiece. Originating from the 1971 album Metal, this opus marked a pivotal juncture for the band as they transitioned from psychedelic roots to a more refined musical identity, foreshadowing their illustrious career ahead. For Gilmore, the decision to exclude Echoes from his live performances is not merely a matter of logistics, but rather a deeply personal choice intertwined with emotional significance. Following the tragic passing of Richard Wright, Pink Floyd's keyboard virtuoso and integral contributor to the song's ethereal atmosphere, Gilmore has refrained from revisiting the piece out of reverence for his departed bandmate. This sentiment became palpable during preparations for Gilmore's 2016 performance at Pompeii's Amphitheater, an event reminiscent of Pink Floyd's iconic 1972 concert film where echoes captivated audiences. Despite the perfect stage setup, Gilmore candidly expressed his reluctance, acknowledging Wright's irreplaceable role in the song's essence. Yes, it would be wonderful to play Echoes here, but I wouldn't do it without Rick. Echoes was, was terrific fun to play, particularly on my last solo tour, and the lot previous solo tour of that, in fact, in 2006 with Rick Wright um, playing on that, and I always look on that song as being very much a duet thing between him and me. So that was terrific, and um, it couldn't and shouldn't be played again. Now he's dead. Beyond the sentimental attachment to their shared musical journey, Gilmore recognizes the irreplicable synergy between himself and Wright that defined the essence of Echoes. Their intuitive musical dialogue, impossible to replicate, underscores the profound connection between artists and their craft. In his steadfast refusal to perform the song without Wright, Gilmore affirms the sanctity of their bond and honors the intrinsic value of music itself. As Echoes remains conspicuously absent from the solo sets of other Pink Floyd members, its legacy finds solace in the collective memories and record collections of millions of fans worldwide. In this bittersweet acknowledgement, the song transcends its status as a mere composition, becoming a symbol of enduring friendship, artistic integrity, and the timeless allure of Pink Floyd's musical legacy. Um, I'm gonna dedicate this if you don't mind, to uh, my old friend and uh, colleague, Richard Wright, who died a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> With whom I've worked for 40-odd hmm, years now, and that has now come to an end. There's all sorts of music that I'll not be able to play again without him, which is a source of sadness for me.